Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on stock volume and what volume looks like as an indicator on your charts and why volume is so important. Um, as you can see right here, I have a chart here up. I have a one minute chart, a five minute, and then I also have a daily chart up. I just have a random stock up, MTBC. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you a few examples of it. But the whole point of it is, regardless of whatever type of trader that you are, volume is extremely important. Whether you're a day trader, a swing trader, uh, a long-term trader, uh, looking at volume on charts is extremely important because it shows the battle of the bulls versus the bears or the, the buyers versus the sellers. Uh, stocks need volume uh, to go up and to go down. So they need either buyers or sellers uh, for the stock to move either up or to either move down. If there's not a lot of buyers or sellers, then the stock will kind of trade sideways or trade kind of flat. And then, um, you know, until either buyers come in or sellers come in, uh, then it's going to, you know, determine the price movement of a stock. So for instance, if you look at this stock right here, MTBC, <clears throat> excuse me, on the daily chart, you'll see volume bars down here. Um, so I'm using Thinkorswim right now. This is just how it's set up over on their charts. You can make it so it's part of the screen here. I like it personally as a separate indicator. Uh, just I don't like volume bars creeping all up into my charts. Again, that's just all a matter of my preference. But if you look down here, you'll see a big green bar and then you can see in all these days, really not much volume. So you'll see there's some like consolidation or small candlesticks and then a big green bar. That's a big buyer. So buyers are coming in here. You can see other areas on the chart, big red candlestick. That's where sellers are coming in. Um, and uh, so you'll see a big red candlestick. So red is sellers, green is buyers. Uh, so this is on a daily. Same thing goes for weekly and monthly. And then also on daily charts, you want to be aware of these uh, big green and big red candlesticks. Uh, as you can see, like right here on a five minute chart here, you'll see a big green candlestick. That means a lot of buyers are coming in. When uh, volume starts to taper off, that could be forming what they call like a flag, like a flag pattern or um, <clears throat> consolidation. Uh, and then, so, you know, you basically look at all, all these other times you see like on a one minute. So you'll see big seller coming in here in a big red candlestick. And what you're doing is you're looking for volume and then you're coinciding it with depending on whatever trading style, you know, strategy you're using, whether you're a day trader, momentum trader, long term trader. Uh, you're fitting that into the big overall picture of finding areas of support and resistance to determine whether you're going to day trade, uh, whether you're going to long a stock, short a stock, um, you know, you're going to determine your trading strategy, but volume is a very important indicator to look at. It's not the only thing you want to look at other indicators as well. You'll see, I have other indicators on this chart here, which I'm not really going to go into, uh, but you know, follow our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to our channel, watch our videos. You'll see a whole bunch of videos that we have set up. And uh, also, too, you can go over to our website, bullishbears.com, or click the link below and take our free trading courses. Um, but, you know, we try to make things kind of simplified. But volume is extremely important. Lots of buying or lots of selling determine, you know, what's actually happening. So that's what it looks like on an actual chart. I'll show you, show you a few more here. Just I'm picking just random stocks, honestly, right now. I didn't... I'm not picking any just in general, but you can just kind of see, you know, going over to this one right here, uh, you'll see Dries. It's a notorious kind of just pump and dump kind of company here. But you'll see, um, you know, just even to see here, like you'll see here on the daily, there's not much of anything going on over here. And then all of a sudden, huge spikes in volume. And then you have to like, this is kind of a tougher example because it's a garbage company, but those spikes in volume coincide to actually something really going on. There was lots of like reverse splits and stuff like that in here. Let me see if I can go back to, yeah, so you can see like over here, you can see some volume. Actually, it wasn't as much. This was a, a huge pump that was going on, but you can see again the volume bars, but just moving in, I'll show you a couple other daily ones here, but here's some five minute uh, charts you could see like a big green candlestick, big green candlestick, and then followed by some you know big red candlesticks, and then you know it kind of slowly starts to taper off a little bit. So you know that could be it's basically forming a bear flag. 
So you'll get some big red volume coming in. Then it kind of tapers down, forms the flag patterns, followed by more volume, followed by more flag patterns. Uh, so that's just another w different way to look at it. We'll look at some, we'll look at a couple more here. Perfect one here. On a daily, you'll see, wait, did I, was I just looking at MTBC? I may have had that one up before. Let me look at a different one here. Boot. Um, let's take a look at this one here. Perfect right here on a daily. Look at this massive red candlestick right here on our red uh, volume stick. This is um, volume. It's a huge red day, big red um, volume bar. Um, and then you'll see kind of the volume bar is going down like this, forming the flag. If I was calling it candlesticks before, I meant to call it uh, volume bars. But, um, you know, that's basically, I'm so used to seeing the colors, I just call them candlesticks. Um, but that's what you look for right here, big green a uh, volume bar, that's volume coming in to push the stock up. And then you'll start to see here, you know, consolidation. So these are very important to look on the daily charts. And then when you're obviously day trading, you want to see what's actually happening, you know, with day trading. You'll see here, big um, volume bars coming in, uh, forming potential flag. And then you'll see it kind of just consolidated after that. So... Uh, it doesn't automatically mean, hey, it's going to go back up again, but you want to be aware of actually what's happening with volume because volume up or down, you know, obviously buyers and sellers control the movement of a stock no matter what time frame that you're doing, whether you're doing day trading, momentum trading, uh, swing trading, or uh, long-term trading. You want to be aware of those uh, volume candles, uh, volume bars. 